Remember the video where I reviewed two entry level fishing reels from Daiwa? Well, here's the deal entry level fishing reels are affordable, but they're not exactly cheap. There are some reels that cost between 50 and 60. Entry level reels in general cost around 80 about to about $200. And the reason why they are affordable is because mid-tier reels cost about $250 to about $400 and there are even reels that cost above $500. Therefore, although entry-level fishing reels are somewhat affordable, they will still put a strain on your wallet. So today, we'll be touching on an even cheaper alternative. And by cheap, I mean reels that are below $60. US Today, we'll be touching on cheap bait casting reels that cost below 60 US dollars. Our main goal to accomplish today is to answer two questions. Firstly, are these reels worth the money? And secondly, who should buy these reels? At the end of this video, we will discuss and hope to derive at a conclusion whether you should or should not buy these reels. So, in order to find out more about cheap reels, Lester and I decided that the best way is to actually try out cheap reels ourselves. And we are blessed that two companies, Pioneer and Pacifun, decided to provide us with cheap reels to review. So today, Lester and I will each be reviewing a cheap reel. For me, I will be reviewing the Pacifun Perseus, while Lester will be reviewing the Pioneer Speedy. So let's start with the Pioneer Speedy. Here are the rough specifications of the Pioneer Speedy. So the Pioneer Speedy costs about $80. It has 6 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearings and the gear ratio is 6.3 to 1. The frame of this reel is marketed to be made of graphite. These are the pros to this reel. Firstly, after using it for quite a while, I feel that the reel is very light and that you can fine tune the brake settings to your liking because it has both magnetic and centrifugal brakes. The spool of this reel is actually quite deep. I managed to spool 200 meters of 15 pound line on it and now I have around 150 meters of 30 pounds line. The drag on this reel is actually surprisingly strong and very smooth. And that's the pros to this reel. So here are the cons. So the first con is that the reel speed actually feels slower than a 6.3. And after using it for quite a long time, I realized that I think I actually broke the thumb bar because sometimes it doesn't work that well. Okay, so this is what I mean about the broken thumb bar. Yeah. Yep. Dude. And the reel also makes a screeching sound when you're casting it sometimes. So this is my personal experience with the Pioneer Speedy. When I was first starting to use this setup, I was also a beginner in bait casting. So I actually use it as an opportunity for me to learn how to, how to use bait casters properly. So because the bearing of the reel is not as smooth as the entry level reels or the more higher end reels that you typically purchase, it actually taught me to control the spool more, taught me to be more conscious to control the, the spool rotation so I wouldn't backlash as often. So in conclusion for the Pioneer Speedy, I wouldn't really recommend someone to get it because unless you are really very determined to learn bait casting, you will probably get frustrated with using a cheap reel. I would recommend you to get an entry level reel which has better bearings. You will have a more enjoyable time learning how to cast a bait caster before you actually decide to purchase a slightly higher end bait caster. What about the rod? To be honest, I really like the rod. So that's my two cents on the Pioneer Speedy. This is the Pacifan Perseus. Now, the model that Pacifan sent me has a gear ratio of 6.3 to 1. Here are some rough specifications of this reel. It has six stainless steel ball bearings and it also has the new dual drag system or something like that. Dual brake drag system. It also has the new dual brake super powerful drag system. The drag can emit a total power of, a total pressure of about 18.5 pounds, which is even higher than some of the mid-tier reels and entry-level reels today. It also has a really long handle, which will give the angler more leverage and more torque when handling and fighting a fish. Um, this has something to do with physics, which I'm not going to explain now in order to save time. But if you want to know more about it, you can search it up online. There are many, many articles where you could read and learn about what the length of the handle will uh, 
affect your fishing. The NT reverse on the Pacifan purchase is actually pretty good as well. Normally in cheap reels, the NT reverse is shit and you could really like top, top, top. But in the Pacifan purchase, as you can see, the NT reverse is pretty good. The biggest plus point to the Pacifone Plurgers is that it has two different brake systems. Number one, it has the magnetic brake system and number two, it has the centrifugal brake system. Now, the centrifugal brake system are not normally seen in these cheap reels. They are normally found in entry-level reels and mid-tier reels. Um, and having two different brake systems will give the user a wider, a wider variety of brakes to play with. So, they can really adjust the brake to the exact and precise casting ability of the user, which makes this reel a really, really user-friendly reel. Hence, these two different brake systems really make the Pacifone Persia stand out from other cheap reels. Now, the last plus point to this reel is that it is extremely cheap. It only costs about 45 US dollars. I even heard some subscribers who say that they use the Amazon discount code or a coupon code or something like that and you get it for 30 US dollars. This is about 15 or 20 dollars cheaper than the Pioneer Speedy. So that's all for the pros and let's start with the cons. So right off the bat, the first con to the Pacifone purchase is definitely the weight. When Lester and I unboxed the reel, we straight away found out that the reel weighs a ton. Now in the box it stated that the reel weighs 228 grams and that's the weight of 8 surface cruisers. So can you imagine holding 8 surface cruisers in your hand? That's the weight of this reel. Now I'm not saying that this reel is exceptionally heavy, but in today's context, most reels weighs, weigh about 120 grams, 215 grams, and that, 50, that 10 grams, that 20 grams really make a big difference. Like Lester's reel, the Pioneer Speedy, it weighs only, it weighs about 215 grams, and you could really feel the significant difference when you hold both reels in your hand. So that's the first con of the Pacifone Purges. So despite having a really strong drag, the Pacifone Purges doesn't have a smooth drag. Especially when the reel is set, when the drag setting on the reel is set to a higher setting, the drag doesn't come out smoothly like that. Instead, it sort of peels off, peels out in small surges like that. Now this is really bad, especially when you're fighting a fish, because the pressure exerted on the hook that's connected to the fish is constantly varying, which results in a higher chance of the hook pulling out from the fish and you losing the fish. Another thing is also, the strain that's exerted on the line is constantly varying as well, and when you're using cheaper braid, it might cause the braid to snap. Another con of the Pacifone Purges is the material that they use to make the frame of the reel. Most reels today are made of either magnesium or some special material that the company creates. But the Pacifone Purchase is made of plastic, or at least I assume it's plastic, because they didn't state in their box or anything that it's made out of graphite. So plastic, although it's a cheap material, and I understand that Pacifone have to use this material in order to keep the cost price low, it is kind of really scary material to work with because the cheap reels are mostly made for beginners and beginners might drop the reel when they're fishing. This might cause the reel to be damaged easily which will make the user feel less confident when using the reel and also it also significantly deteriorates, uh, it also significantly decreases the durability of the reel. Now the worst part is the part of the reel that is attached to the reel seat is also made of plastic. This is really scary as I've seen anglers who actually break off this part of the reel and when it's made of plastic, the chances of that happening increases significantly as well. So although I understand that you know Pacifone have to use plastic in order to get the cost price low, I can't really close an eye and overlook this detail as it really significantly decreases the amount of confidence when I'm using this reel and it doesn't really make it a suitable reel for beginners anymore. That's one of my pet peeves or one of the cons that I feel applies to the Pioneer Pacifone. The Pacifone Purges. So the final con of the Pacifone Purges is, is that this reel deteriorates quickly. Now comparing the reel now to when I first got it out of the box and using it, there's a significant difference in both casting and reeling of the reel. The reel is definitely less smooth and at certain instances I can even hear the bearings of the reel sort of screaming to me. This also applies to the uh, Pioneer Speedy. So Lester and I learned that, especially in the cheap reels, they deteriorate rather quickly. And I haven't really used this reel a lot as well. I've used it for about five or six trips only, and there's really a significant difference in terms of smoothness to when I first got it. So let's get to our, my final conclusion of the Pacifone Purges. My conclusion on the Pacifone Purges is that it is a rather decent reel, but the catch is it is a decent reel for the price. If this reel is priced around $100, I would definitely not buy this reel at all. But because of the price, it also comes with inevitable cons. Like for example, the material where they make the frame of the reel, the weight of the reel, 
the uneven drag, the uneven unsmooth drag. These all are sort of inadv inevitable, especially when you're using cheaper materials to make a reel. My final conclusion is, I wouldn't really recommend people buying the, Pioneer, the Pacifan Purchase, but it is still an interesting reel and if you are an angler who wants to try out cheap reels, want to abuse cheap reels, you can consider this reel. But I would definitely not recommend beginners to buy this reel because it would, ru it would sort of ruin your big casting experience, especially when you're using a cheaper reel to begin with. You should try something that's sort of an entry level reel, which would enhance your big casting experience and would make you like big casting more. So that's my final conclusion on the best one purchase. So here's our final conclusion on cheap reels. So I wouldn't really recommend you getting these cheaper reels unless you're really on a budget but they will really deteriorate your uh, experience of using bait casters like for me um, I used it when I was learning bait casting and honestly it slightly discouraged me from care from continuing to learn bait casting because of my bad experiences with it. For me I feel don't buy cheap wheels. Now you might say that you know I'm being a douche right now and you know all these companies providing me with cheap wheels um, like I'm sort of shutting them down but the thing is, if you think about it, the audience who probably buy the cheap wheels are beginners. And if you're a beginner, you wouldn't want to buy something that already has its cons that would obviously deteriorate your big casting experience. It will discourage you from wanting to continue big casting and would make you feel less encouraged to continue big casting. I would rather advise beginners out there to purchase something of a higher quality, sort of an entry level wheel which would give you the right pros and which gives you the right advantages and enhance your bait casting experience which will make you like bait casting more and encourage you to keep casting with your bait caster and it's obvious because um, from our experience of using the Pacifan Purges and the Pioneer Speedy there are definitely inevitable uh, cons for example the uneven drag on the Pacifan Purges the anti reverse on the Pine SP is also starting to go. And something that we can all agree on is that the reel deteriorates quickly. Now we're gonna answer the last the two questions that we start off with. The first question was who should buy these reels? And the answer is probably someone who is really on a budget and you're not willing to spend much on the reel. For me, it's probably someone who wants to sort of get a reel to abuse the reel, get it? Um, I know of people who just want to buy the reel, buy a cheap big casting reel, abuse the heck out of it and throw it away and get another one. I know of people like that. If that's the case, this reel might be suitable for you. Um, the other question is whether these reels are worth it. To me, I feel that yes, it's worth it. It's definitely worth all the $45. I mean, as a big caster, for $45, uh, the, the Pacifan Purges definitely performed pretty well. but. Yeah, it performed pretty well for the price, that's the catch. For me, I feel that it's not really worth the money because being priced at around $80 Sing dollars, you just sop up another $20-$30 and get an entry level fishing reel which will probably provide far more benefits that will outweigh the price of it and it will really make up for the increase in price. So I, our final conclusion on the cheap reels, cheap bait casting reels is that buy an entry level reel, don't buy cheap reels and Pioneer and Pacifan, please don't get pissed at us. So thanks for watching guys, stay tuned to our next video, see you again.